Hello, my name is Dana Johnson, and I have created this interactive exhibit project in conjunction with my graduate degree at the University of Western Ontario. I'm taking a course with Dr. Bill Turkel, and he decided that it's more fun to make history more interactive and exciting, especially for the public. So I designed an exhibit that would make history interactive and interesting. So this is kind of a fun way to learn about World War II and one particular soldier's experience. So what I've done is I've taken the lily pad Arduino, which is a microcontroller, and I've sewn it onto this military jacket. So if you can see here, there's the microcontroller, and it's attached to a power supply. And then there's four different pins around the microcontroller that lead out to a series of four lights. Now these lights are situated on the four pockets of the military jacket. So the visitor experiencing this exhibit would be standing in front of a projector, which is playing this series of slides. I have here on my laptop. Ideally, it would be on a projector. So they're instructed to turn on the lily pad on the power supply here. So you flip that to on. And then the lights will turn on in their time, so each light will turn on for two minutes. So when one light turns on, they open up that particular pocket and there's a letter that's in an envelope. So the envelope look like this. So once they've opened the envelope and removed the letter, they put the envelope back into the pocket. And then they have about a minute, a minute and a half to read the letter. So they open it up and read the letter to themselves. These were written by Harry Ernest Hansel, who was 20 years old when he went over to fight in the Second World War. He left in 1943. And there's one letter written to his father, two letters written to his mother, and then the fourth letter is a letter that his grandmother wrote to Harry's dad informing him that, unfortunately, Harry's plane had crashed and he passed away. So after they finish reading the first letter, this second light will turn on, and they'll have a chance to read that letter and continue throughout. And while they're going through the letters, the images will be appearing on the projector to add a bit more interest to the exhibit. So that's what I decided to do with the lily pad Arduino to make history more fun and interactive. So thank you. That's my project.